unanimity of opinion at this point about maintaining the second floor courtroom and the related rooms that are there. At some point, we know that we will have another high profile case that will take large crowds or will need to accommodate large crowds. That courtroom is uh, an absolutely beautiful room for those of you who may not have been in it. We want you to see it at some point. But we do know that we will need a large courtroom at some point for uh, some high-profile case. We just don't know what it is yet. Most courtrooms now are built smaller because uh, most people don't attend trials as they did 40 and 50 and 100 years ago. But when a big one comes along, people come to see the dog and pony show as best they can. So that's, that's what they want to do. Uh, that courtroom is also suitable for use for special occasions, uh, special ceremonies, uh, moot court competition, uh, other particular situations that require it. It could also be used, uh, though we're going to be very careful about who we let do this, uh, could be used for courtrooms and movies. Uh, movies still like to use old-fashioned looking courtrooms. But uh, if they come in here, I can assure you that as long as the present commissioners are here and as long as I'm breathing, they're not going to tear it up and leave it in a mess. Uh, so uh, that's one thing that we do know we want to maintain. So if that is a concern of anyone, then you can uh, rest easy because we're going to take care of that courtroom. It's a beautiful courtroom. It's got a lot of very unusual factors in it, one of which is that the uh, light fixtures on the judge's bench originally were a combination of gas and electricity uh, because back then people thought this electricity foolishness was just a fad and was going to disappear and they'd need to go back to the gas lights. So, and, and they would still be functional if they were connected to gas lines. Uh, they were cleaned up and polished up and, and fixed uh, when the courtroom was renovated in 1988. And uh, so that's something that we intend to preserve. Uh, Paige, if you will call our first speaker, I would appreciate it. Thank you very much uh, for all that you've done so far.